today I would like talking about the pink aesthetic, which is Jingjiba, which is a zirconia pink aesthetic. I would like talking about that one. So this is the final work, and then here's the final two. We do have a, uh, some of the live cases too. I can show you the how can I build up. So technically, I do have uh, some samples, which is light to all the way dark. But the company has the GC America as a great product. This is I all the time use it. This is the best product ever. Uh, not only pink porcelain and um, zirconia, titanium, metal ceramic, you know, LISI press. So this is good key. However, I'm going to make the better color than this because natural this color has a lot of uh, um, different color. So which is I made it the, the color for all the way from here. And then I'm going to explain to you my recipe. How can I achieve this color from regular pink color? Okay. All right. So this is a book. And then here's my formula book. And then I can go all the way back. Then I can get the information, which is the... I'm using the regular pink, but also I need some stain with a mixture together. So that's the key. And also, we do have the other, the pink color for this. Illustration, which is the um, FM uh, frame modifier 05, regular 24, 36, all different color. So you can do that as well as the, the recipe too. So here is the, my guideline for the stain. This is the essential, which is zirconia. Um, in vivo style. So I already pre-mix it. So key is here whenever I use the just gum color. Let's say this is zirconia. Right? So then I have to use the zirconia color. So I mix it with the um, Modern look it really well. It's like that. Good. It's very good. So whenever I try to achieving the uh, regular gum color, hundred percent. So you don't need any stain. However, you wanna matching that this is little uh, light uh, pink color compared to this. Then you have to add in the eye. IN-1, which is 25%, which is white, right? So I do have a case is IN-1, and then I put the, the white. It's a mixture of half and half or no? No, it's 25%, 25%, just like compared to this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say 20%, like this, mm -hmm. and then mix it. Make sense to you? All right, then I can achieve in this color. So whenever I put the, sorry, I have to bring the uh, paper. Kleenex, that, that's good. Close it. So whenever I apply to, to the gum area, which is the zirconia, after we center, and then we apply with the regular gum color. So, you can do with the layer, top of that, you can create the gum line. Like this. So this is the first step to make the full arch restoration if I want to go to this color. Which color? Which color? Um, this is I, I call the gum 2. Gum two. 
Right, so this is my aesthetic, which is brush, engaged together with the brush, and then concentrate the margin area irregularly, just add it like that. Then I can fire it, then I can get those colors, not a problem. A deeper pink. Yes. Than what you could only get with uh, the liquid that you put in the zirconia. Yes. Okay. And then, if I go to this color, which is the uh, reg gum regular, 75%, and this is the IN9, which is 20% mixture, same thing. So IN9 meaning, here is a little bit orange color. Right? So think about it, the regular pink and the orange color will create that color. So same concept. Same concept, so I don't have to mix it about that. Right? Same concept. Now, if we want to go to this, it's gum color, which is the little bit, here is this physical shade tab, which is background is pink but I create another color, it's a differentiation. It's a burgundy color and the mahari color is here too. So this is a regular gum, you can use 100%, no problem. And uh, this one, I, I know uh, it's kind of a little bit uh, weird color, but here's gum 4. So I'm using the IN12, which is pink. Mm. So I'm using the gum and then IN12, 12, which is pink. What is the difference? This is a little bit translucency. This is a high opacity. It has a density. So whenever I mix together, so you can get the more different pink color tone. It gets a deeper, deeper pink. Yes, yes. And um, right, this is same concept, variety. So I put sometimes regular uh, porcelain and the blue. I am 13. 20% mixture, then I can get this color. Nice. All right. So what I, why I do, the, the, do this, because without this color, you cannot mimic with the natural teas. We call pink aesthetic. So we cannot mimic that one. All right. And then I can make the another here, the, uh, kind of dark brown. Uh, 11, so I can mix sure together, same thing, 20%, 75%, so I can get the regular color here. So here in the uh, Chosite Shea Guide 7.0, you show them, uh, you, you're showing everybody how to use these powders and what percentages you got to use them. Correct. Depends on what doctors requested. So, hold on. Depends on the doctor request, it depends on the patient gum color, so we can mimic with this, with the stain. But it's make sure this modern liquid is a completely um, make the thin, and then we add with the stain. So you can do any kind of your porcelain, not a problem. Okay? Um, so, next chapter, next chapters, I have to, to choose one color, and then I created about the, this kind of color, so which is finer. Make sense to you? From here to there. Let's focus on these. Right. So you can see that here is a color differentiation between here. So whenever you check the gum, and this one is perfectly matched. So it's gum 5 that you have on this collage. Yes. So. So I can mimic with this, but as you can see, it has a different, different color and different texture in between the teeth. We create the aesthetic pink design. Also, I make the texture also coloring too. Mm -hmm. So okay. So next time I can do with the add with that one. So just mix with a simple gum color, and top of that. Pre-shading, so I build up. 
which is I try to put the equation, regular foundation. Let's see? So tissue is extremely important. Trying to make the tooth contour decrease it, increase it. The size of a tooth is very important. So, as you can see the contour of the tooth, I can put the mirror, then basically I create the tooth form from the porcelain. Create the one, I'll be careful about this, alright. Let me make the flinch. Right, because it may look like the tooth. And then if I think it's too too big, too small, then I can utilize my gum, pink porcelain. Right? So I have to I set the central, now move to lateral. Good part is this is live, meaning live cases. Yeah. How did you find out uh, that there were different shades of gum? Well, I got the photo from the doctor, or they can use our regular chair size shade guide. They can choose it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, STC nine, you know those kind of things. They can, they can, I can mimic with that one. Yes. All right, so you need a tool. That'd be great. You the, the paper shade guide and you have also the, uh, the actual shade guide. Right. The but shade doctors, shade. they don't, they cannot, you know, confuse about the porcelain and denture. Totally different animal. So sometimes we have to watch out uh, uh, from the materials in order to make the correct pink tissue color. See? Yeah, so you're laying it on there and... Right. So first step is so easy. So you can put the baseline top of the app to make the pre-shading. So this is done. So I fire with a 820 Celsius with a 30 minute hold. It takes quite a quite a while, meaning it's, it's forever to me. It's a huge chunk of the zirconia. I don't want to get the thermal shock. So we have to put the cooling time at least 30 minutes. Otherwise you get easily cracked or micro crack. The longer the cooling, the better? Absolutely, because long span bridge, we, we must put that one. You see? So to me, it's too long compared to when they're smiling, then I can decrease it. Tooth, so I increase it with the pink porcelain color. Make sense to you? You can bring down the tissue tissue line or bring it up to be able to uh, just make the teeth look smaller. Exactly. Why when they're smiling, so canine is a little bit more higher than premolar usually. So that one's my controlling. Now, usually how many times I bake? Usually I bake two, three times easy because I have to use different porcelain uh, color. After you fire it, then you can see the mold result. That's it. Okay. Couple of time. Vibration. 
Then I put this. Drying out all the water. Well, yeah. Okay. So I can see here the between gap is not a problem. Or you can do at this moment with the brush. So easy. You see between the frame. You could make like that. I don't want to make it too thick. Yeah? Brushing out the edges then? Brushing out the edges. Perfect, yes. Still, we're going to see. See, this kind of thing is a little bit issue. I, I cannot make the thin, otherwise, you get cracking. Or you can add it if you think you need the porcelain like that no problem that's it now I can put the here down so with the ibex technology yeah so either either you can do the honeycomb tray or this but you have to watch out the top the problem is whenever you're using this, I have to increase the porcelain temperature. Otherwise, my uh, porcelain cannot bake it properly. So this is pillow top type. So this is OK. I can put the pillow area like that. Or you can use the this. Now, let's put it in there. All right. The Konya uh, first bake here. You see preheat time 6 minutes and cooling time 25 minutes, which is very important. 810, 820, depends on the portion of what I'm okay. I just, after I check, and then I fire it. Run. It takes about one hour because cooling time. Make sense? Good. All right.